Welcome to VisaReservation.com. Our aim is to make applying for visas easier than ever. If you're planning on traveling to Europe, you may need a visa to be able to enter any of the 26 countries in the Schengen area. If you're from a country whose citizens require a Schengen visa to be able to enter and stay in any of the countries in the, that form part of the Schengen area, you'll need to start your application as soon as possible. If you're not sure where to begin, don't worry. Here at Visa Reservation, we want to help you understand everything there is to know about applying for visas. So, with that in mind, let's take a look at how to apply for a Schengen visa. You must apply for your Schengen visa well in advance of the departure date. As a general rule, embassies and consulates take anything between 7 and 15 days to process visa applications. However, you should check with the respective office that you're dealing with as their processing times may be longer. You may apply up to three months ahead of your departure date. There are a number of steps you need to follow in order to apply for a Schengen visa. Step 1. Complete the application. Step 2. Make an appointment. Step 3. Prepare your documents. Step 4. Submit your application. And Step 5. Receive your visa. Step 1. Complete your application. You will need to complete your visa application form and all visa offices allow you to either complete your application online or you can download it from their website to complete manually. Step 2. Make an appointment. You need to make an appointment in order to submit your application in person to the visa office for processing. Most of the visa offices have online booking systems that are easy to use and once you've created an account, you can log on and make a convenient time and day for your appointment. For the offices that don't have these online booking systems, all you need to do is contact them by telephone during their business hours. Making appointments with the Embassy or Visa Application Centre is generally free and can be done yourself. However, if you're running short of time or are not sure which consulate to apply to or have no idea on how to get this done yourself, then not to worry, Visa Reservation will make the appointment for you for a small fee. Booking a visa appointment using our services is simple. All you have to do is follow three simple steps. Visit www.visareservation.com to schedule the visa appointment. Then complete the requested information and you'll receive an email to confirm the appointment. Step 3. Prepare your documents. There are several documents that you need to prepare in order to apply for a Schengen visa. You should take a look at the specific visa office's website regarding the requirements before you start. But documents include passport, your application form, passport size photos, flight reservation and proof of sufficient funds. Each type of visa has different documents that are required so it's best to check the website of the embassy or consulate you're dealing with before you start. In addition, you need to provide originals as well as photocopies, so don't forget to do that. It's possible to obtain your flight reservation for your visa without paying for the ticket. So if you want to look at doing this, all you have to do is follow three simple steps. Visit the visa reservation website to choose the right package, submit the travel details and make the payment online, and receive your flight itinerary by email. Step 4. Submit your visa application. In order to submit your application, you'll need to appear in person at the office of the embassy or consulate you're dealing with. The visa staff will review your application and supporting documents and will ask you any additional questions if they need to know anything else. For example, is this your first time travelling to the Schengen area or how will you pay for this trip? If this happens, simply answer honestly and politely. You may have to provide bio biometric data which includes fingerprints and photograph if this is your first time applying for a Schengen visa. And you'll also have to pay the fee of 60 euros which is payable in your local currency. Each one of the visa offices accepts either cash, cashier's check, money order or credit or debit card. But you should confirm with the office you're dealing with as to which payment method is acceptable. Don't jeopardise your visa, Schengen visa interview at the last minute. Use Visa Reservation's comprehensive and thorough visa interview guide to crack the visa interview. Step 5. Receive your visa. When a decision about your visa application has been reached, you can usually collect your passport from the visa office or they can mail it back to you. You need to check with the office whether they provide courier or mailing services. There will be one of two outcomes. Approved, you will find your visa inside your passport. Rejected, unfortunately, your visa application has been rejected for a specific reason, such as lack of funds or an invalid passport. You usually have the right to appeal the decision. 
So now you know how to apply, it's time to get your application started. But if you're not sure where to begin, our friendly team can guide you through all the steps involved in applying for a Schengen visa. All you need to do is contact us at www.visareservation.com. Visa reservation can also help with flight and hotel reservation, travel insurance, travel guides, visa interview guides and much more. Remember, if you need assistance with visas, check out our blog page where you'll find many articles about applying for visas. Plus, you can also refer to any of the resources, tips and links included in this video. Thanks for watching.